O Lord Almighty God of Israel enthroned between the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth, you have made heaven and earth, Isaiah chapter 37, verse 16, there are governments in heaven even though it is an absolute theocracy, God rules over all from his throne but he also gives various responsibilities to people and angels according to his purposes, although all believers in heaven are spiritually equal, they have different functions, and certain people may be responsible for overseeing groups of people of various sizes, depending on what God has given them to do, yet everything is done as a labor of love, never with a sense of superiority over others, this is the government that exists among the saints of heaven. Angels in heaven also have different ranks and duties, for example, the Bible talks about the captain of the host of the Lord, Joshua chapter 5, verse 14, and Michael, one of the chief princes, Daniel, chapter 10, verse 13, I saw at least 70 classes of angels in heaven. They follow their orders to the letter, I first became aware of just how many classes of angels there were when I was walking on the golden pathway and smelled the fragrance that renewed my strength, I noticed more and more angels of every description and I believe, of every rank, they were busy with the people and they were beautiful and were everywhere, some were in groups, others were by themselves, all were busy doing the business of heaven, as they performed their business they would stop every few feet and bow their heads, giving silent praise and worship to God. But I noticed something as I mentioned earlier, in heaven, there is no such thing as tomorrow and no such thing as yesterday, it was and is always right now, I asked one of the angels how time is measured in heaven, he looked at me with a puzzled expression on his face, he said, you mean time as you know it? Yes, he continued time here is not measured in such trivial things as years, but in ages where the glory of God rolls on forever, that settled the subject in a big hurry. The angels took on a new meaning to me, the classes of angels looked like they were family members, some wore shirts with drawstrings, some wore pants, some had shoes, their hair was never longer than their ears, none had a shaved head, but some had beards. They looked like they were about thirty in human years. I think saw some angels who looked 12 to 15 feet tall, and were as wide as four or five of the biggest linebackers on any NFL team, some had swords and some did not, but they were all huge, I was told that they were warfaring angels on their way to do battle, I stopped, bowed my head and backed up a bit, but the angels with me and the voice behind me with a gentle touch, again, I believe this was Jesus, said, you have nothing to fear. They are about the Father's business, record keeping angels then I noticed other groups of angels, some were tall and slender, one of them I had seen before in several visions I have had in my life, he was there, it was the first time I had noticed him. He was standing off to the side watching everything I did and listening to everything I said, and he had a large book, he was writing it with a quill that must have been six feet long, it was huge and golden. The book he was writing in was made out of some type of golden looking material and might have weighed several hundred pounds on earth, but he held it in his left hand, writing with his right, it was as if it weighed nothing to him, I know I had seen him before, now the word tells us that God keeps a record of every thought and every deed and every action that we do on earth, refer to, for example, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. I wonder about this when I saw this angel writing, now I understand that everyone has an angel or angels to record everything that he or she says or does, and God knows it, in the book of Revelation, we find that, the books are open and I saw the dead great and small standing before the throne and books were opened, another book was opened, which is the book of life, the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books, Revelation chapter 20, verse 12 the armies of God, warfaring angels I saw what I call the armies of God, I was taken to a very large area that wasn't in the city, I don't know where it was, and I don't know what part of heaven it was in, but I was taken there in an instant, I was in the air and I looked down on possibly hundreds of thousands of angels lined up in ranks and in units, they looked just like soldiers getting ready to go on parade, I knew I understood supernaturally that they were standing right where they had positioned by God when he first created them for his purposes, 
they were God's warfaring angels, and they would leave heaven and come down to fight battles for us, then they would go back to heaven and stand in formation until they were needed again. Some of them had swords that looked fifteen feet long and were on fire, the swords looked like they were made of a flaming material. These angels were not what you would call tall and slender, such as I had seen in some parts of heaven, nor were they friendly looking or kindly looking like other angels I saw in heaven and still see today, I have seen these warfaring angels before, God has shown them to me here on earth, but not as often as other types of angels, these were fearsome angels dressed in battle garb, they didn't have helmets, but they had huge shields, flaming swords, and spears that were about thirty feet long, they must have stood twenty feet tall and weighed the better part of a ton, according to earthly measurement, they were huge muscular angels, they looked like a Mr. America, but considerably larger, some of them had short sleeved garments, while others had long sleeved garments, some were dressed in a type of a tunic and pants outfit with drawstrings around the neck, others were clothed with just light, they had supernatural weapons that I do not know how to explain, I knew that some of them could speak words and cause whole nations to crumble and fall into the sea, they were armed, some with words, some with swords, some with spears that had special purposes, and all with the power of God, and they knew their jobs, their highly specialized jobs, nobody had to tell them how to do that, God just told them where to do them, all the angels whom I saw were very specialized and each one had an intended purpose, some of them were clothed with the power to move the earth, and others were clothed with the power to bring judgment, but they all had the power to defend and to keep God's children, I looked down and said, look at those mighty angels, the angels standing with me stood attention and said, behold the warfaring angels of God, they are mighty to the pulling down of the strongholds of the evil one, refer to the second book of Corinthians, chapter 10, Verse 4, I noticed that all their hands were clothed with power, and I asked, why are their hands aflame? I was told that they are ready at any moment to come and do battle against the powers of the devil that assail us, they are ready at any moment to come and be on assignment to deliver from the power of the devil, the power of God is in their hands to accomplish all that he wants them to do, they were mighty, and they were lined up, rank and file, hundreds upon hundreds of them. I looked at them and knew that they are released to fight for us, the minute we mention the name of Jesus, I saw thousands of them coming and going from their rank and file in the place where they stood to come and do battle on earth, they would come out of the ranks almost at the speed of light and disappear, I knew that they were going to earth to help someone, oh, the power of God that is there and available for us, if we only knew how much the angels have to do with our victory here and how God wants us to have victory all of the time, wisdom giving angels I saw that there were multitudes and multitudes of angels in another place who were given to us for wisdom, they would go to the library of God's knowledge and get wisdom and bring it to us, or they would go with a special instruction to bring it and cause it to happen on earth, I also saw that the Holy Spirit was in charge of it all, he leads, he guides, he directs and he gives instructions to the angels, the angels do not act on their own but only under the auspices of the Lord Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, only the name of Jesus can loose the angels for us, when we mention the name of Jesus in our prayers, the Holy Spirit immediately begins to direct the action and the angels of God to come into play for us, protecting angels I saw that each person who is born again doesn't have only one or two angels, there are literally legions of angels who are at the disposal of the Holy Spirit on our behalf, I saw angels who are in charge of the weather, and I saw angels who are in charge of protection, many times in my life God has sent angels to me, one time while we were driving, I was given a vision of angels mounted on beautiful white horses, and they were traveling along with us beside our automobile. I could see them just like I saw them in heaven, and I could hear them, we had been praying for protection, and my wife was driving, suddenly, my spiritual eyes and ears were opened, and I heard one of the angels say to me, I can go faster than you can, I thought that was strange, and I told my wife, she said she had been thinking, I wonder what would happen if I put my foot on it, angels were listening, it is important that we as the children of God, keep our thinking right. 
keep our words right, and allow God to go into action for us. Angels for all God's purposes I saw what appeared to be millions and millions of angels for the many purposes that God has intended in heaven, but I was not allowed to see all of them, the angels would not speak to me unless it was the perfect will of God for them to do so, they are totally obedient to God, anytime Jesus was near, the angels would stand at attention and look at him with the greatest adoration, they would fall at his feet if he wanted to speak to them. They were actually there to serve us as children of God and to serve God in whatever capacity he desired. They were energized to do that, they were empowered to do anything that he wanted them to do.